Hello everyone, my name is Franck Levax. I'm Innovation Content Leader at Jack Group. Welcome to the new Jack Podcast interview. Our guest today is André Janton. André is President and CEO of Porsche Industries. He's been driving Porsche's strategy in the battle against COVID-19. André, welcome to Jack Podcast interview. It's great to have you with us. Thanks, Franck. Great to be with you. So, André, you're well known in the composite industry. But please introduce yourself briefly. Okay, I'm the CEO of Porsche Industry and former president of uh, Huntsman Advanced Material. Mm -hmm. And I have a chemical background and I work for different jobs in different parts of the world from uh, France, Switzerland, uh, USA. What about Porsche Industries? What are your markets and solutions? The Porsche Industry is a company of 2,000 employees. Uh, mm -hmm. We generate uh, roughly 330 million euros of turnover. Mm. Our job is to produce materials uh, based on chemistry and fibers. Uh, we, uh, we produce them on different forms. It could be uh, scrims, it could be uh, pre-preg, thermoplastic pre-preg. It's also textile in general mm. and uh, roving as well. Okay. And we operate, we have 13 different uh, production sites around the world. And we operate in uh, three different uh, markets from aerospace is one third of our activity, one third is automotive, and one third is industry, sport and leisure and building. And André, wh what has been the impact of COVID on Porsche? Like for several companies, uh, we have seen decrease uh, on the sales uh, activity, especially in aerospace. But uh, we were able, by the agility of the team and the flexibility, we were able to uh, to enter in the healthcare business by producing uh, more than 30 million masks, uh, UNS1, um, during this period. 30 million masks, it's really impressive. Now, let's come back to composites. I know you have your own definition of composites. Can you share it with us? It's uh, not my own definition, but let's say a less narrow definition, mm -hmm. where what is important is fiber impregnation, and therefore, for us, uh, we talk uh, from composite, rigid composite, to flexible composite. Uh, both are, uh, for us, uh, drive by the same, uh, the same logic, fiber and chemistry. And to give you an example, we are uh, producing rubber coated yarn mm -hmm. uh, for the production of belt. Uh, mm -hmm. We are supplier of uh, Arlette Davison, as an example. Or, to be more extreme, when we produce uh, parapente uh, textile, it's, uh, we need a strong resistance and we put chemistry on it uh, and that's also a composite for us. So it's uh, from rigid to flexible composite, it's for us uh, the, the scope of our activities. Yeah. So you, you mentioned your application sectors in general, but focused on composites, what, what are your uh, application sectors exactly? Uh, in aerospace, uh, as you may know, we are a leading supplier of uh, glass fabrics for uh, interiors mm -hmm. and for primary structure we are uh, producing thermoplastic plates to yeah. produce the clip as an example for the S350 uh, based on uh, peak technology or PPS technology mm -hmm. that's uh, one of the activity uh, it was we, ha we have seen the impact for sure during the, the covid period yeah. but in the rest of the market we are, we are focusing on rigid composites like automotive we have gain position, replace metal, or replace also thermoset solution by pushing thermoplastic solution, like in the battery cases. Mm -hmm. cases. And also, we were active in the, in the wheels, composite wheels. So we have gain position, but we have not seen too much impact from the, the COVID. And in the sport and leisure, uh, same situation with the surfboard. All this activity, we are working, we are working relatively well, in fact. So the main impact in composite for the COVID was mainly uh, in the aerospace field, in fact. Okay. Uh, according to a Jack uh, Group study, today's priorities in the composite industries are innovation and sustainability. What is your innovation strategy and how much do you invest in R&D? So we'll develop Porsche everywhere in every segment. As you may know, we, de we invest about 2.5% of our turnover in R&D and uh, whatever technology push or market pull or innovation has to be smart and uh, offer sustainable solution to the market and reduce environmental impact. And uh, what it means for us also, we work on, uh, on biosource material, like, uh, you know, we have the green light 
-hmm. It's a cellulose weaving. We are also working on the flax technology. But what is important is uh, for us the thermoplastic, because thermoplastic is for us a more recyclable solution. And that's the main focus uh, we have. And also what we do, uh, we bring smart solution on fabrics. We print uh, directly some, uh, some sensor in the, in the composite uh, to simplify solution for customer and optimize their usage. usage sorry. So Andre, Porsche developed a brilliant solution uh, with OEMs in the past, like uh, the carbon fiber peak rotor of the Airbus H160 helicopter. But do you also want to develop your cooperations with academics and startups? Yes, we are working with academics to, uh, to have access to, uh, to strong expertise and to think out of, out of the box. Mm. And uh, also it's important to, uh, to push innovation through the startups. Uh, we have contact with a lot of them, but uh, not enough, not enough. We have to uh, emphasize more on, the, on our approach with the startup, in fact. Oh, yeah. So you, you call startups to, uh, to join your, your company, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's the, the best way, in our, in our opinion, to accelerate innovation and uh, to really uh, push and drive uh, technology. So, Andre, my previous question was twofold, with a part uh, focused on sustainability. How do you promote sustainability within your company? And how do you help your customers improve their footprint? Alors, as I explained before, we have 13 different sites. Uh, sometimes we produce similar material, but the idea is to promote, to produce locally, uh, to avoid transportation of, uh, of materials and uh, therefore reduce the uh, the CO2 emissions. Uh, we always consider a design to green approach by developing solution to decrease of environmental impact. Uh, for future innovative solution, we try to minimize and reuse the scrap also of the, for new application. Uh, we have an example with the thermoplastic laminate. We have several projects or joint work with customer to reduce the buy to fly. And also what is important for us, we. We provide a smart textile, uh, smart textile and smart composite, by the, by the way, to, uh, that's able to lighter the structure by including uh, sensors and wires we print directly in the fabrics or in the composite. And also we, we offer a multifunctional uh, materials, self-healing, uh, or smart, and often and donc in our material, donc it should help the customer uh, to reduce the number of steps and therefore uh, Uh, to reduce the, the number of scraps and the lower the energy consumption. That's the, the way we participate. So, Andre, to finalize our interview, what's new for Porsche Industries in 2021? Uh, you know, we have uh, invested since 2017 uh, 120 million euros in the company. Huh? Mm. Uh, for development, we acquire new technology, uh, new equipment, Uh, we improve assets as well, new ERP. And what is important is to continue the, the strategy and the plan to implement this plan. So it's technology push, extend also the, 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 the footprint, uh, the geographical uh, uh, expansion and uh, gain in visibility. But we are on the, on the track. We, nothing uh, new, just what I explained before, uh, development of thermoplastic and uh, The, print, uh, the printing technology uh, on, the, on textile, the smart textile. Thank you, André. That was very interesting, especially on thermoplastic recycling and smart composites. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you again, André. See you soon. As a reminder, the new Jack Observer 2025 and the Jack Composite magazine 139 have just been published. To discover them and to subscribe to our magazine, please visit jackcomposites.com. We are looking forward to continuing our mission of sharing knowledge, networking and innovation with you. Thank you and bye-bye.